Hello, everybody. Today, we're diving into something truly spine tingling. It's called the tear barrier. Imagine setting a goal so far outside your comfort zone that you find yourself face to face with a wall of fear. That's the terror barrier. Now, let me share a personal story to bring this to life. When I decided to start a new career at 62, people looked at me like I'd completely lost my marbles. I moved into a new apartment that cost $1,000 more than my previous one. I bought a new computer and I spent my life savings on an idea that quite frankly flopped at first. And last November, I smashed right into the terror barrier like a cartoon character running into a brick wall. But here's the thing, once I plowed through that barrier, I realized I could do it. Every day since I've applied the principles I teach, hitting that wall of fear and pushing through it. Each time I do, I grow and my world gets better and better. Why is it that so many people get all fired up about a goal only to watch it fizzle out? Have you ever wondered why a small group of people hit big goals while most don't? The truth is most people never hit their goals because they set the wrong ones. You've got to chase a C-type goal. That's a goal that starts as a fantasy, but beware because you're going to smack right into the terror barrier. If you bounce off, you're sunk. But if you understand what's happening, you can crash right through it. Everyone who has ever accomplished anything significant has faced that terror barrier and bulldozed through it. Let's break it down with the stick person concept. Bondage, reason, terror barrier, and freedom. So bondage is where we start. Here's the individual conditioned by X-type energy. This X-type energy in the subconscious mind creates X-type behavior and X-type results. When new power flows into their consciousness, they think X-type thoughts, keeping them stuck in X-type results, essentially living in bondage, not freedom. Then comes reason. We introduce a Y-type idea, which comes from outside. As long as the Y idea stays in the conscious mind, everything's fine. But once it seeks expression and hits the subconscious, that's when we smack into the terror barrier. Mixing X and Y energy causes discomfort, sparking worry and doubt, fear in the subconscious, and anxiety physically. When people hit this terror barrier, most bounce right back into bondage. Now Thoreau said, if a person advances confidently in the direction of their dream and endeavors to live the life they've imagined, they will meet with success unexpected in common hours. So to move forward, you have to understand what causes the fear. Understanding is the key to freedom. It doesn't eliminate fear, but eventually the X energy disappears and the Y energy becomes the new X energy. This shift happens through repeated emotional involvement in the Y idea until the X type conditioning vanishes and you live in freedom. And then what do you do? Well, you start all over with a new Y idea. But this time, you've got experience. It still scares you. Trust me, every new goal scares me. Parts of my mind say, Paul, take it easy. You don't need the aggravation. But you have to kick those thoughts out. If what you're doing isn't making you grow or scare you, you're going in the wrong direction. You know what the beautiful part is? It excites and scares you at the same time. Excitement comes from the conscious desire Fear comes from venturing into the unknown. So when you start working toward a new goal, you'll look outside yourself for resources and find nothing. But those resources come as you need them. Have faith that everything you need will appear in the right time. In another video, I'm going to discuss polarity, the positive and the negative, ignorance and knowledge. There's only one real problem, and that's ignorance. All problems stem from not knowing. The opposite of ignorance is knowledge, and all the knowledge we need is available all around us. Think about this graphic, positive and negative, ignorance and knowledge. When we doubt and worry because we can't see the resources we need, it leads to fear, and fear is a psychic disease. Fear causes anxiety, 
which we suppress, leading to disease and disintegration. Now, the law of life says create or disintegrate. If you're not moving ahead, you're going backwards. To escape this negative flow, we have to understand the laws of our being. Everything we need will come to us at the right time if we stay in the right vibration. We develop understanding through study, something most people avoid. Understand that everything you require will be delivered exactly when needed. Build a positive picture of your goal, get emotionally involved with it, and set up a vibration of faith. You know what faith is? Faith is seeing the invisible and believing the incredible, enabling us to achieve what seems impossible. It's the polar opposite of fear. Now, faith based on understanding moves mountains. It gives us a positive picture of our desires before they materialize. Emotional involvement with this picture leads to well-being expressed visibly. People in a good vibration attract more good things because they're at ease, creating instead of disintegrating. In the age of AI, our creative potential is vast. The fourth industrial revolution isn't about small goals. Remember, we're all ignorant about some things, but we must never remain ignorant about how our marvelous minds work. It's the greatest gift we have enabling us to achieve anything we desire, but we must develop it. That's why I emphasize mindset before diving into the practical and technical aspects of succeeding in the fourth industrial revolution and the age of AI. Inside my success portal, you'll have the opportunity to learn all about these things, and I hope you'll join me in this study. Through repetition, understanding clicks, and you live in freedom. Welcome to my success portal. This is going to change your life. And I look forward to seeing you on the calls. Talk to you soon.